Projects enable you to organize your test suites and test cases by segregating them into distinct spaces within case, thereby preventing the mixing of test cases related to different areas of development. For instance, if you oversee a web application alongside accompanying mobile applications for iOS and Android, you can create separate projects for the web application, iOS app, and Android app, respectively. Essentially, a project serves as a container for all test cases, test runs, defects, and other artifacts related to a specific application or website. To access your projects, click Projects in the top left corner of your workspace. Additionally, upon logging into your workspace, this page will be the one you land onto. Upon entering the project view, you can choose between two layouts. At the top right, you'll find a controller to toggle between the current card view or switch to the list view. In either view, you can mark a project as a favorite by clicking on the star icon, which alters the display order of projects. Favorite projects are listed above others. For example, the Case Mobile App project now appears at the top. Furthermore, in both views, you'll find a summary of each project, including the number of unresolved defects, test runs, milestones used, and team members with access to the project. In the List view, the three-dot menu provides access to project settings and the option to remove the project. When ready to commence a new project, click Create New Project. Provide a name and a code for your new project. A project code is suggested automatically based on the title, but it can be modified too. The project code, comprising two to six symbols using only Latin characters and digits, aids in nomenclature and will later be a part of every test case's ID within the project. Project code, not project title, is also used in API calls and tools for automated testing. A description can be added to offer additional context to project collaborators. Regarding project access, projects can be set as either private or public. For a public project, all workspace users, present and future, have access. Private projects provide three access options. Adding all members. This grants access to every current account user. New users joining later will have to be added to the project manually. Group access. You can select a pre-existing group, granting them access to the project. When new individuals are added to the group, they automatically gain access to the project. Don't add members. This option will keep the project visible to you only until you're ready to share it with others. After you finish the initial setup, click Create Project. Note that the workspace owner can view all projects, including private ones created by other users. Once created, access project settings to make updates. From the General tab, you can rename the project and change its code and description. Be mindful of changing the project code. If it is already used in configurations of API reporters for auto tests, changing it will likely break those integrations. The Access Control tab allows you to manage access and ownership, including sharing it with groups or individuals. The Repository tab provides options related to the project's repository. Here, you can opt to enable or disable confirmation of bulk case deletion. You can define how the review process would work for this particular project. Disabling show links will hide the links to a case's cloned instances or its parent case if it's been cloned itself while viewing case properties. Enabling it will make those links visible. You can customize test run behavior and establish automated outcomes for various actions in the test run section. We'll talk about these options in more detail in the later videos dedicated to test runs. Under Test Case, select if you want to see milestones, steps to reproduce tags, and steps input data in test cases in this project. You can also choose whether the case steps should be classic or Gherkin type by default. To view all available fields within your workspace, click on All Fields, redirecting you to the Field section. Upon selecting New Settings, click Update Settings to apply changes. The Webhooks tab displays configured webhooks or enables the creation of new ones to connect with third-party solutions. After a project is completed, 
you may want to archive it for reference without cluttering the active projects. In the project settings, click Archive Project at the top right. Archived projects can be viewed by changing the filter to Archived within the Projects page. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles and our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message.